what I found personally for me was as soon as I started feeding my body the right foods, my body knew exactly what to do. It felt like it just went on autopilot. It started healing itself and it was healing itself rapidly. I mean, it was, it was amazing. My starting A1C was 10.6. Three months later, which is just a couple weeks ago, I got it retested and it was 5.4. I've lost 53 pounds and I'm continuing to lose weight. I'm sleeping better. Life's just so much better on so many different levels. I don't feel that things are happening to me anymore. I feel that I'm a part in creating what's going on for my body and for my life. Last year, so October 20th, I got um, some tests taken because I was very low energy. And so October 20th is when I got diagnosed and I panicked. I thought that there was a mistake because you know, I, I was very conscientious most of my life of food and my food choices, and I thought I've always eaten very healthy. But looking back, diabetes runs pretty heavily into my family, um, but I did think that I was going to miss it because of my healthy lifestyle up until that, to that point. I mean, I come to find out that now I'm much more healthy than I ever thought that I could have been. I thought that chicken, lean chicken was good. I thought dairy was good for you. I try to stay away from fatty foods like chips. Although I, I was weak when it came to French fries. And I, I used to be a collegiate athlete, and so I was quite active. However, once I came out of school and I started working, a lot of that did go away, and it became more um, sedentary in my lifestyle. Um, so I, all of that played into a part, I think. Prior to the diagnosis, I was listening to, um, I think, podcasts from Anthony William. And on there, I heard um, Robbie speak about being the mindful diabetic. Um, it didn't click in my mind that my tiredness was connected to that, but I enjoyed the hearing about food and health. So when, when I got the news, he was the first person I thought of. And so I researched him right away, and it directed me into mastering diabetes. I didn't want to be so panicked in my diagnosis that I was just jumping for false hope. I did a lot of emailing back and forth, and the staff at Mastering Diabetes is wonderful and patient and very kind to give so much attention to answer all my questions. And I even got a personal call from Robbie and, and put aside a lot of my fears. My aunt was also in the process of the end of her life due to complications to diabetes, so it was right in front of me of what can happen if we don't um, reverse it. I felt like it was playing out real time with what my future could be in so many years. I'm watching it happen in front of me with my aunt. And so there was a lot of fear of just the disease itself and the complications. I didn't really know what to eat, to be honest. I, thankfully, for whatever reason, I had listened to so many of those podcasts of Anthony William and, and food and, and Robbie's discussion of how fruit is the most healthful thing that you can nourish your body with. And so I had that in the back of my mind, but I also had what society tells you of stay away from fruit and the sugars. And I left the doctor, doctor's office thinking I was fine. Two days later, I get the results via email. I speak to my doctor on the phone and she's like, I'm going to give you medication. Here's what you need to do. But there was really nothing to do other than take the medication every day and then check your sugars in the morning. And to me, that wasn't enough direction. I, I didn't know. I was panicked. So what eased my fears was, I think, just speaking to Robbie on the phone and his confidence, and absolutely, this is 100% reversible. No problem. And his confidence and his assurance, I thought, okay, I'm going to hold on to that because I don't have any right now. I'm going to use his. And um, what is a month going to do? I mean, I can sign up for a month. What is that going to do? No harm can be done. And in fact, I had nothing but blessings. I started about a week and a half after I got diagnosed. So, so for that week and a half, I was riding blind on my diet and it was just only fruits and vegetables. I just jumped immediately. There was no transition, but I, but I wasn't confident in my choices and what I was doing. So I know mastering diabetes is wonderful at having you ease into the transition so that it's lifelong and forever. Um, I didn't know that yet. So I just jumped off both like straight into the deep end and I've never looked back since. What I found personally for me was as soon as I started feeding my body the right foods, my body knew exactly what to do. It felt like it just went on autopilot. It started healing itself and it was healing itself rapidly. I mean, it was, it was amazing. 
And so I was in awe of watching what was happening. I didn't have a lot of cravings, I don't think. I mean, there might have been some out of habit, but the benefit that I was feeling and the way that my energy was coming back, I was sleeping at night, um, my skin's looking better than it had in years. All the benefits were way outweighing any sort of craving that I was having. My view of foods completely changed. So now I can look at a burger, whereas before it's like, oh, that looks really good. Now I'm thinking, mm, yeah, no. Because I know some of the some of the stuff that it does to your body, you know, as a, as a just a regular person, not a doctor, but I know the effects and there's no way I even want to go back. Initially, I wanted to feel normal again. How can I be like everybody else? I need to reverse this, get my body back so it's not in this, in this um, overtaxed state so that I can occasionally go out with friends and have pasta or have this or have that. And so I think that was my goal. I didn't want to be isolated and singled out, um, which were expectations I put on myself. I mean, nobody's told me that. But now I like that I stand out. I like that I make really good choices. And I'm noticing that people are coming to me and asking, so what are you doing? What do you eat? I need to do that too. And I just, yeah, said your body will really like it. I like to keep it simple because um, I'm busy. So to cook and do a lot of prepping, that's just, I think that's why I fell into the easy fast foods there at the end. So a typical day is I'll have a couple of apples. I'll slice them up with a couple of bananas. I'll soak some chia seeds and then sprinkle with some cinnamon and have it with baby spinach leaves. So that's breakfast. I have a nice cup of omelet tea, which helps me once I get to work. And I'll snack on a banana, maybe an apple. Sometimes I'll slice bell peppers. Sometimes I'll use like a small potato. Lunch is usually a potato with a salad and some fruit. Or I've been starting to do uh, brown rice with engine two chili. I'll put a little bit on that. Again, with a big salad. I love to eat everything with salad now. And salad, I didn't use to run towards. Now I want salad in just about everything. Your body craves it. It's, it's amazing. Um, and dinner, what I usually have is um, I'll steam some vegetables. I usually like cauliflower, bro uh, broccoli, sometimes artichokes that I eat plain. I used to lather them in mayonnaise. Now I don't even want it. And fresh salad because I want fresh greens and some sliced fruit for dessert. And that's pretty much, but I don't really crave anything else, which is amazing. Before cheese was my go-to. I love cheese. It's not even in my thoughts. I've felt a huge difference in my mood. Things don't seem to rile me like they used to. I think I feel a more sense of calm. Um, I, when I was first diagnosed at such a high A1C, um, my doctor wanted me on metformin, and I usually don't take any medicine, not even aspirin, but um, she talked me into it. So I started off with 500 milligrams of metformin, and within like two weeks, I started weaning down, and within a month, I was completely off metformin. Never saw those high numbers like that again. My starting A1C was 10.6. Three months later, which is just a couple weeks ago, I got retested and it was 5.4. So I'm completely out of the diabetes zone and I've even passed pre-diabetes. I've lost 53 pounds and I'm continuing to lose weight. I'm sleeping better. Life's just so much better on so many different levels. Now I feel like I have an input into my health, whereas before, I just felt like, man, I'm trying everything, but yet maybe I'm not dropping those 10 pounds and I'm trying everything, but I'm still so exhausted. I don't feel that things are happening to me anymore. I feel that I'm a part in creating what's going on for my body and for my life. And that helps you, I think, on all levels, because from my experience, when I started to heal my body and started to heal the root cause of what was the high levels of my A1C, so once I was taking care of that, it, it doesn't just cure your blood sugars, it cures the whole being. So I was feeling um, more confident in myself and more self-assured. I was feeling um, like I was participating in my health and that I, I knew what to do to help things to improve it. And, and the results were so fast. It helps with your emotional being. It, helps, it helped me even on a spiritual level. It's just it, the whole you is what seems to be cured not just the diabetes.